So hello guys and welcome back to my channel. He wants to say hi to you guys. Say say hi handsome. What's up gang? What? <laughs> Oi <Oy> ba. <laughs> Anywho. So this is the last day of this is the last day of our trip uh, to NYC. So we go, we head home tomorrow. I am homesick. Uh, I get home. I can do all of five days in New York, and then I'm ready to go home. The parking here stinks. Ma, you be packed everything. Where is it? It's all in there. It's still in the same suitcase. That's dirty clothes on the top. So, so um, today was just a relaxed day. Um, really laid back. Uh, we went out to eat. Uh, dinner with his with uh, Corey's aunt and what are you doing? I told you that's dirty clothes on the top and I can tell because I, I remember those jokes. Okay well hold on one second. <laughs> He's always interrupting me when he sees that I'm trying to do um when I'm trying to record a video. I mean gosh can I just have my little five minutes of fame? <sighs> Anywho uh, the baby shower was a lot more than I expected, uh, but my husband and my mother-in-law did a wonderful, awesome job um, setting things up. Well, getting things together because they had an event planner, so and she actually set a lot of it up. But um, it was a lot more than I expected. A lot more people than I expected. It was it was massive. I did have, <laughs> as you guys know, I had the games planned to play. I had five games planned, and it was so massive and there was a lot of people there that i was like okay i can't do the games because the games are going to be like frustrating for me but we did do the diaper raffle um and we did do the hidden pacifiers game the changing like the seeing who can put the baby's clothes on fastest blindfolded we did not do that and we did not do i'm i'm, I'm sorry we did do um the guessing of the ball balls in the jar we did do that as well um so basically my mother-in-law hit the pacifiers um around the uh, venue and everybody had two minutes to go find pacifiers and then we pulled um we did the diaper raffle like four times um throughout the shower four or five times throughout the shower so that one was the most easiest because we literally just shook a jar picked um tickets out of the jar read the ticket the raffle number and boom you won a prize if we called your number so that one was the easiest one because of a lot of people so we did that numerous times instead of pulling out the other games uh, i really 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 wanted to play the prices right but like i said it was just too many people there uh went to 125th street and did some shopping of course, I love going to 125th Street while I'm here. And that's pretty much it for our last day uh, in NYC. Uh, we spent the day with my mother-in-law, went to Costco, did some shopping. So, um, oh, and we, had, we, we were able to pack everything uh, for Harlem. And we bought four empty suitcases. So we were able to pack everything in those four empty suitcases um, except for like four big boxes we had to ship those so they'll they will uh, be arriving to the house this week and we did we ordered her car seat this morning so i fell in love with that duna car seat stroller set the one where the wheels fold up in the back of the car seat so um we ordered that this morning and we got a gift card from Baba Baby, so we put that towards her. Excuse me, we put that towards her um, stroller, and we just paid the difference. So, her all of her big items have been purchased. Nursery set, my mom and grandma purchased, which will be delivered at the end of this month, and we just purchased her car seat. So, we are pretty much set. I'm still undecided on if I'm going to have a baby shower at home or not. Um, reason why is because I just don't want the stress of planning a baby shower. Um, I didn't have to plan this NYC baby shower because my mother-in-law took on that burden, um, as well as, well, not burden. She took on that, uh, stress load 
as well as my husband so i didn't have to they kept me out of it um so i didn't have to deal with it but at home my best friend would deal with it and i would like have input but i don't think i want to have one at home i don't think it's necessary i don't think it's needed uh because we got so much stuff uh from the nyc baby shower which i'm very grateful for um i might do something small maybe like a di um like a diaper party where people just bring diapers and wipes i may just do that so as you guys can tell i am recording this video while i'm laying down and it's because i have my feet up on the uh up against the headboard because they my feet are swollen as well as my ankles so um it's not my blood pressure i do check my blood pressure very often so it's not that it's just that i've been up walking around more than usual um, so i'm up on my feet uh while being in here while being here in new york because if we find parking where we don't have to move the car at a certain time then we'll leave the car there and we'll just like take the train or the bus um so it's just easier when you find parking in new york and you don't have to move your car you better be sure that you better be leaving your car there because parking is hard to find in, in new york um that's pretty much it so when we head back home tomorrow um i have to stop at my best friend's house because we've had packages at the house coming to the house of uh, from people who purchased things off the gift registry we appreciate all of that so i had my best friend go pick up a couple packages so we have to go to her house and pick up those boxes go home i'm not going to unpack everything the day that we get home i will do it the next day and i will uh record then i'll record uh all the gifts that we got as i'm unpacking them because i i took them all out of boxes and i packed them in suitcases but like being in this hotel room it's just like the stuff just overtook the hotel room so i would rather just like vlog that at home um, i did take a picture i had uh my son take a picture of me in just one set of boxes that i opened up and one suitcase that i was packing uh, i'm like buried in the suit in the um in the boxes so i'll insert that pic um, that picture as well um i'm also inserting a clip of my husband announcing uh the name reveal and the reason why we named her harlem which i know i've already explained that but it's so cute when uh he was explaining it to uh, our baby shower guests and the reaction that they gave it was very heartwarming so that's it guys next time you see me i will be back at home so stay tuned for update subscribe you want them to subscribe my son said subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you can get notifications of my video uploads see you guys later bye bye <laughs>
first and foremost, uh, I know all of you, if you don't know, um, my father recently passed, and um, baby's name, her name is in honor of my father, and um, goes back to my grandmother and my family, or well, my father's side of the family, um, in honor of my dad. You know, if you know me, you know my dad, I love them, my best friend. Of course, I love him. I miss him, and um, so that's where I'm closing things from. And, um, so the name that we chose is Harden. chosen one. So that is a deeper rooted meaning behind her name. Um, unfortunately, oh, sorry. <laughs> Time to check my sugar. But, um, um, you know, me and Keila tried. Um, well, Keila was pregnant before and unfortunately we lost our first baby. So um, this is the second time around. You know, blessings to God that Keila is still pregnant and she's, the baby's in there flourishing, uh, nice and round. <laughs> and, um, so, you know, we really feel that um, Rainbow Baby or Harlem really is a chosen one. And you know, we're very blessed to, to have her here. Thank you. 